Hi. Hi, everyone. Yeah, man. So, uh, since I'm not a teacher, nor a researcher, even the performer, I would like to share a story based on my uh, experience and uh, products. Uh, well, let's say my life, learning life is 60 years, and uh, I'm 31 years old. So looking back at my past 30 years of my life, I have three things talking about today uh, for, so for formal learning history. First, oh, sorry. Hello? Okay. So I'm here. <laughs> so first, uh, my formal learning history is kind of boring. It's all about certification, losing the detail. Uh, that is a point. And the second, uh, look at this, this is mine. I'm working as a designer, and also for past four years, I'm doing a freelancer. Uh, working as a freelancer is like that, but for the freelancer, as a freelancer, the certification doesn't make any sense. And the third, I went to a new college in uh, uh, New York City for two years, and the class is uh, the class con uh, consists of people from various background, racial group, and their age ranges. But they are really enjoying their learning based on their curiosity and their interests, and uh, that is not on the, their careers. So the experience there was a source of thinking of learning throughout life. And uh, those are stories are really personal, but tied up to uh, my philosophy, why I'm learning, uh, why, I'm, why I'm working at the learning field. I believe, oh sorry. <laughs> well, okay, I'm back. So I believe that for human being to survive all the current social and environmental issues, issues, we need to learn on the advanced intellectual platform. It's, that sounds like an inordinate desire, but technology can realize, if technology can realize personal learning environments and motivate learners, uh, it, it, it should not be hard to make it possible. So I think in the course of my next 30 years of my life, I will see how human beings make it happen. And to verify, I mean, uh, in order to verify my hypothesis myself, I have developed the two products, IUNIB and GUCUS. And at the Castaria IT Solution Company. The word Castaria means a fountain of knowledge. So the older product at Castaria related to learning and education. The first product is IUNIV. IUNIV is a social learning platform with open educational content. When I joined the Castaria, I even didn't know the concept of the open educational content. But after that, we realized two important points. There is not such a service. And there must be a lot of people who want to take a quality educational content, like as our CEO is. So he is our CEO. He's not here, unfortunately, because he's taking a vacation. That is great. So let's go back to the story of the IUNIB now. Uh, when we start IUNIB, it was a really hard time. The context, the learning in the social network, is kind of hard to understand people. And uh, it's really small user groups. But the situation is changing and getting a really better situation. And uh, that is working on the tablet too. And uh, 
we regard the platform is a between a bridge between formal education and the informal learning. And uh, we learned a really big thing, one big thing, when we developed the INEV. The size of the educational content is really, really matter. So reducing the size of the learning content to easy run size is really important things. And based on the INEV's experience, we have second product called a Gukas. Gukas is a smart Wikipedia reader and facilitate, facilitate sharing of your knowledge. So searching one word out of your in, inter, intellectual curiosity, that is the starting point of the learning of, uh, on the application. So like location and the keyword, Searching word brings your motivation to search the next word. So, and uh, we think uh, showing the result of the uh, history on the Wikipedia really matter for the learner. Then uh, we believe your learning history is uh, other social learning materials. Those two platforms let you learn uh, things really freely based on the, your interest and curiosity. And uh, we are learning from not only those platforms, but also social networks as well. Actually, I guess we are learning a lot from the social learning, like Twitter, Facebook comment, post on the blogs. So we should think uh, we regard informal social learning as a variable as informal learning. Understanding the basic, uh, understanding that concept, then uh, we have developed a third, another product called the Fourier. Fourier archives your informal and the formal learning, and the Fourier optimize your social learning network and uh, suggest you what is your next learning is. That sounds like a dream, but it's not dream. It's actually ongoing project at the kindergarten, uh, Saku Kindergarten in the Nagano Prefecture. So the concept, formal learning from the kindergarten to the higher educational institutes and the informal learning, I mean the informal social learning after graduation that is a concept, and the concept provides you an uh, environment that realizes a genuine lifelong learning. That is the educational version of the from the cradle to the grave. The things I've shared with you today is uh, just the beginning. So now it is a great timing to start designing your lifelong, lifelong learning. Thank you. <laughs>